Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, I'm starting this vlog now. I was actually supposed to start the vlog earlier in the week and then I just didn't and I'm doing it. And we're about to head out now to an event with Armani Beauty for the launch of their new perfume. And I'm working with them on a campaign. So we're gonna go there to shoot some things. And I thought I would just start the vlog here. I've got this new top on from Magda Butcher which I thought a lot of you guys would like. So I thought I could show you guys this. And then also, I am styling it with the Chanel bag. I wanted to say thank you to whoever commented on the last vlog I did for my luxury handbags I ripped buying. And they basically had commented to say to get a top handle for the Chanel bag because one of the reasons of me not wearing it is because of the long shoulder strap. And then today I grabbed the bag and I thought, actually, that's a great idea. Let me see where I could put like a top handle strap and then I could maybe find one and add it on. And then I realized actually that I could pull the strap. So, it has like this stopper. Wow, look at the detail. It even has, I don't know, let's see if you can see that. It has the Chanel logo. And basically I realized that I could actually pull the chain in and then I've looped it underneath this string and it actually keeps it into place. So I didn't know that I could actually turn this bag into a top handle, which is a game changer for me now because I will 100% be using this bag. Also, I know so many people said to keep this bag because it is so beautiful and I honestly love this bag so much, which is obviously why I bought it. But I think it was more so like the practicality of the side strap and how I don't really wear crossbody bags that was stopping me from wearing it. But now, I, I love it, I'm obsessed. Like I can just put it here. It's like the perfect evening bag, day bag with jeans. It would look really cool. So I'm gonna wear this to the event with my outfit. And I know that red is one of the biggest colors this season. Like we're gonna be seeing lots of red. It's like one of the hottest colors, red and like a butter yellow. So yeah, I did really wanna keep this bag and make it work. And I feel like maybe I will be introducing more reds into my wardrobe. because I know in that video, I also said I don't really wear red, but obviously it seems that things have changed. So yeah, I just wanted to, show you guys that because that is a very important update i have a new bag it feels like it honestly feels like i have a new bag in my collection for fragrance today i'm going with the armani this is the new fragrance this is what i've been working with them on it's the sea perfume intense it's really beautiful it has notes of vanilla rose black currant and it actually really lasts a long time so i think this is a gorgeous scent as we're heading into autumn what else did i want to say i wanted to say a big thank you to so many of you who left such lovely comments on mine and true's engagement vlog i know there was a bit of confusion people were confused because it did look like a mini wedding i did write in the description box explaining what we were celebrating um, and i quickly just mentioned it here to just clear things up so we were celebrating our engagement and also our nikah which is an islamic marriage which me and true had done privately before and had ne never celebrated with our friends or family so this party was to celebrate that religious marriage and also the engagement so we just put it into one and then what follows after that is like a bigger party like the reception party and normally that happens like quite soon after you have the Nikah celebration. But for me and True, we're celebrating that in 2025 because the venue that we wanted in Italy isn't available. I think there's still a backlog of weddings from when COVID happened. So yeah, we've had to push that back to 2025, which we don't mind because actually it gives us more time to plan and like nothing's going to change we live together our life isn't really going to change after the marriage it's just more so to have like a really nice big celebration with everyone and this engagement party was very small and intimate so there was a lot of family members and a lot of friends who we couldn't invite because it was supposed to be a really small intimate event so this wedding will be a chance for us to invite more of our friends and family and just have a really nice time so i hope that makes sense so basically yeah we're not legally married married we haven't had our legal marriage yet so i feel like i'll actually consider myself married and call myself the wife and true the husband once we've done the legal registration and had our big wedding in italy hopefully in italy we're going to go and view some venues i might bring you guys along and make sure that we're really happy and then we'll get booking but yeah, that is an update. I just want to say thank you so much. There were so many nice comments. There were a couple of rude comments, which did make me think if I want to share like actual the wedding when I have the wedding, because it's such an intimate and personal moment. The majority of the comments are so nice, but when you do get a few like hateful comments, I don't know, it does put you off because obviously I'm sharing like a very like intimate part of my life. I'm sharing my friends and my family. I think sometimes YouTube is a bit of a funny place. People can just 
be a bit mean on here and it's, it does yeah it's not nice yeah i'm gonna head off now we're gonna get a taxi the weather's actually cooled down a bit it's been really humid in london but it's cooled down a bit so i'm gonna put a blazer on and head out and i'll bring you guys along to the event they've got this like new pop-up thing in covent garden which will be nice to see and then we're going to paris tomorrow and i'm gonna bring you guys along to paris because that's gonna be a really nice like shopping trip so yeah i'm doing a quick outfit of the day i'm wearing this magda bitchum top that i got on netta porter and then this is my zara maxi skirt i have the frankie shop one but sometimes when i don't want to wear a belt i wear the zara one because it doesn't have the belt loop so it's perfect and then i'm gonna wear these and i'm gonna wear some flat shoes because we have to walk to Covent garden like where we're parking the car isn't close to the actual venue so we have to walk and I don't want to wear heels. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and bring you guys along. Say hi to the horse tree. With his photographer's backpack. He wears this so she can wear this. <laughs> We're just a one-man team. True? Do you think we need to get a team like <laughs> uh, we need to hire some. Uh, we need to hire two more, two more people. We can I need have a, a total of six hands. We have production like that. Yeah. <laughs> right now, it's just a one man. Um, Was it? What's it called? A one man what? One man army. One man yeah. army. <laughs> but true, you manage so well just having you. But you need like four more arms, don't you? Guys, we're back in the room trying to shoot some content. <laughs> So like everyone just stops to watch because yeah. it doesn't look right. Like, is she an Armani model? <laughs> yeah, so well, we're having an yes, avatar in me. <laughs> yes, she is. We're here to celebrate the next chapter of C. Take me, oh, take me, oh, take me along. Good morning guys just finished off the best matcha ever i'm obsessed with matcha recently well it's not recent actually i feel like i've always loved matcha but i've started to replace my morning coffee with matcha and i absolutely love it i'm going to show you the matcha that i use because i think personally it's the best matcha that you can get in the uk this is the matcha that i use we get it from sidri in chinatown and it's from japan so i feel like it's Probably the best thing you can get in the UK because the origin of the matcha is Japan. It is so delicious, like really rich. Every time my friends come around, I make them an iced matcha and they love it. So just finished my matcha. I'm actually, it feels so nice because I'm going to Paris today, as I said yesterday, and we're going by Eurostar. And for once in my life, the Eurostar isn't really early in the morning, which means I could wake up at a normal time, do my makeup, pack like i actually finished off packing today and just like chill for a bit i've got like half an hour until we have to leave and get a taxi to king's cross but it just feels really good and i also just got a delivery this morning from benefit for their all i want calendar this is actually my first advent calendar so far this year but i've seen a lot of people have been buying the advent calendars early because I think last year and the previous years, advent calendars get sold out quite quick, like all the good ones. And this one is amazing. So I'm a huge fan of Benefit Makeup, especially their primer and their mascara. The Red Lash Mascara is the only mascara that actually keeps my lashes lifted because I have super straight lashes. So I thought I would quickly talk through the advent calendar in case any of you guys are thinking about advent calendars and what advent calendars you want to get this year. This one is amazing because it is such good value for money. It also includes the Benefit Cosmetics full lash collection. This advent calendar is actually limited edition and it's the biggest advent calendar that Benefit Cosmetics have done. So I'm gonna unbox a couple of the boxes with you. I am working with Benefit Cosmetics UK on this segment of the video and I'm so excited to open up these things, especially because I actually need a couple of minis to take with me to Paris. So this is perfect timing. You have all these boxes 
that you can unbox every day. So it's literally like having a present to open for 24 days. Ooh. So four of them are full size products, including the Roller Lash and the Fluff Up Brow Wax. The first one is the Bare Real Mascara. I feel like everyone watching this has probably tried a benefit mascara once in their life. They're like the OGs of the best mascaras. So you get four full size, six minis, including that iconic Hula bronzer. And then you also get 14 like fun size products. This is the Pore Professional Deep Retreat Pore Clearing Clay Mask. Oh my God, I'm actually gonna take this with me to Paris because this is the most perfect size face mask. And this is so good. This is why I love advent calendars, like beauty ones, because all of the things I actually love to take with me when I'm going traveling because they're like the most perfect size. And this is the cutest little clay mask. I've heard such good things about this clay mask. Apparently you can actually see the pores. So I'm going to put this in my suitcase and actually tonight, if we have time, I might use it and then you can we can see how it looks together because I actually have never used this before. There are actually two new products in here. Um, there's the plush tint and the splash tint. So one is like a matte finish and one is a dewy finish, which is very exciting because they're new products so we haven't tried them yet. We'll unbox one more and then I need to actually pack these up. I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below if any of you are interested in checking out the calendar. I think this is also like a perfect gift to give someone because they get like 24 gifts and then they can open one each day. This one is Fan Fest. I've actually not tried this mascara before. As I said, it actually has the full like lash collection in this. So it's a great opportunity to be able to try out the different mascaras and find out why they are the best selling mascaras in the UK. Anyway, I'm gonna pack these up. I'm gonna pack some of these in my suitcase to actually use. I will link this advert kind of down below. I think it's amazing that you get to try out full size products, fun size products. You've got the minis, the travel size, and the new products. So if you are interested, I will leave a link down below and you can check that out. Okay, I'm gonna put these in my suitcase, shut the suitcases and call an Uber because actually we should leave now. It's so nice to come to Paris when it's warm. I don't think we've ever been here when the temperature's been this nice, have we? No, we haven't actually. It's always either raining or really cold. So this is like the most beautiful, perfect temperature. We're just going for a walk now to have a look at some shops and then we're going for dinner later. I don't know if I mentioned in this vlog already, but we're actually here with Vista Village to visit their Paris location. It was actually just outside of Paris, La Valle, La Valle Village. Um, and we'll bring you guys along to that tomorrow because there are some amazing shots. So. Hopefully I'll find myself. I actually need to top up on my fashion because um, I've just been wearing the same pair of trainers. Jeans, the Prada, Prada jeans. jeans. Yeah, I need new ones. Everyday, well, not gonna lie, it's like me with the Ray jeans. Yeah. I've got this top on from, I didn't get changed from the train, what was it? I can't remember, I'll link it down below. And then my Ray jeans from Matches, I literally live in these jeans. And then the most worn bag of the year, this beautiful Bottega, I think I need to get this. Oh, I saw it in a suede. I think I'm gonna have to get it, yeah. Look who's here, turn around. Introduce yourself, <laughs> they already know who you are. I'm obsessed with this outfit so good also that pop of red actually yeah, looks so really good nice. like i feel like if you had a red bag that would have been perfect i mean you can rock that one <laughs> this is the first first pastry of, of the trip of the trip bite will you taste her Oh my god, it's so good. The cream inside. It's a 10. <laughs> Cruz having his first snail. Oh my god, actually, I don't think I'll try it. It looks a bit. It's quite massive. Do you think I should try it? I think you might think it tastes like grass. A grass? Oh, okay. No, it's good. Actually, it's not bad. Have you liked it? It's really good. Really? It was really good. It's gone from like not bad to it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> this bread is so it delicious. It smells really good. It's like soft, not chewy. Guys, look at the french fries. This is Ooh. insane. <gasps> I've never seen french fries like this before. I'm actually shook right now. This is I so good. I like these things exist. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, is that the veal? 
Yeah. That sauce looks nice to dip my chips in. Are you ready for dinner? I'm so excited. This looks so good. Oh, this looks really good. Terrible things started happening when you walked away. So that's why I stay back. We've got coffee. I've never had whipped cream on my coffee, but this looks so good. Currently filming. This is the BTS of the campaign we're filming. No, this actually looks like such a good coffee. I can't wait. I'm so excited. We'll do a taste test of. Do we need to like shake it? Yeah, I think we need to mix it because you can see the syrup at the bottom. Mm. It's quite smooth, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you're right. It's quite sweet. Yeah, but it's like strong coffee. Naturally nice. With your cream gone. I mix it in. Oh, yeah. Ration yourself. Good coffee. Cheers, round. What would you give it? Mm. I'd give it like. You're like, right, bro. I would say eight. Eight. I'd say eight and a half because I was expecting it to be like overpowering and sweet. Okay, so yeah, so eight. Eight out of ten, eight point five out of ten. Seems so out of reach, your crystal clear. You don't this Oh I love these. The green. These are three, four, five. These are so pretty, the crystals. Let's see how much these are. Oh, there's no price on this one. This is the paper bag that they did. It's so weird because it actually feels like paper. But is it? it's leather, right? So interesting. Literally looks and feels like a paper bag. Let's see how much this one is. 1,070 euros. So we have the Bottega robes here. And the size price is 2.45 from 4.90. So half price and you also get tax back. They also have the towels. The towels are 145. And they have the white robe. What size is this? Oh, that's a large two, four, five. These are quite cool. I actually really like these. I think they're so like, just like a chill pair of white pants. You guys know I love my white pants. And these are under 200 euros. I also love this detail that it has. The like cuff. Very cool. It also kind of looks nice with this waistcoat. Like a monochrome. Look. Show me the bug one. Yeah. <laughs> They're so small. It doesn't look. A small face like that. I look. I was saying I never go for sunglasses with like this. Yeah, I just don't. This yeah, they look like kids' goggles. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna your, go do my in your speedos. <laughs> Guys, these shoes. How much were they? Three, four, five from six ninety. They're so nice. And the hat. This is also 345 from like 690. This colour is stunning. So this is the front of it. And this is the price. But the brown one is 825. So I'm gonna ask if they Yeah, they're gonna get it. I've been looking for a nice big belt. The price is so good as well. It's one one seven seven. From six one five to one seven seven. I know that I would be told to let you go. Why would I? Why would I follow you? They have the egg hills here. I'm so tempted, but I already got the soap, and the front of the soap is the same as the front of this, so I don't know if it's excessive. But how cool are they? Also, the price is six fifty, so it's still. Still pricey, but they're sick. This is 1,170 euros for price reference. 
They have the Loewe hands dress that I bought full price and it's basically half price. So we finished filming the stuff that we needed to film with La Vallée Village. So now we're just doing a little bit of shopping, having a look at some stores. This is actually a smaller shopping place than Bista Village and the restaurant options are less, but they do have different stock. Like in Loewe just showed they had the Loewe hand dress, the one that I bought full price. It always hurts when you see something you bought full price for like half the price. But yeah, they have really good stock in the Loewe. So guys, I did some shopping. I'm actually really happy with the pieces that I picked up. I feel like these are all things I actually wanted and will use. We'll see later on in the year if I end up using it or if they're in like a luxury worth purchases. We're gonna go to Prada now and there's not a queue outside so that should be good. We have this Prada striped little denim dress. Let's see how much that is. It's 8.90. Let's have the skirt. With the trail, the orange skirt with that trail. It's 1,300. We're going for a quick La Durée stop before we get in our car. Yeah. These are all the flavors they have. I'm gonna get pistachio, the banana marshmallow and the cotton candy. Oh. So I want to try it. Yeah, they sound really interesting. They look really nice as well. Which one would be like your worst nightmare? I don't like the idea of the bitter almond. Yeah, I wouldn't go for the bitter the almond. Coffee. Oh no, I would go for coffee. Would you? Yeah, I, would, I don't really like lemon. I don't really like lemony desserts Louis that much. Antoinette yeah, I wonder tea. what that tastes like. Like, does it taste like tea? What about peanut butter? Yeah, I would go for peanut butter. Orange Blossom I wouldn't go for. No, I feel like that would taste like perfume. Yeah, I, like I wouldn't go for Orange Blossom, Citroen, Cherry Yogurt I wouldn't go for. No, or Strawberry Candy. But it just all looks so pretty. Ella's so gonna like try. She's gonna... marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> I need another bite. Yeah. That looks really nice. Is it? What does it taste like? It doesn't taste very banana-y. You know like the iPhone is going to taste like, you know those like cheap banana like foam sweets? Oh, the foam sweets. sweets, yeah. It's just very sugary. It's nice, you'll like it. But can, do, do you feel like banana marshmallow is a good description for it? No. Okay, let me try I just call it banana sugar. Okay. Banana sugar. Oh, it's got sugar on the outside. Look. Banana sugar. Oh, it's got sugar on the outside. I didn't, I didn't see the sugar on I'm getting a hint of banana from yeah. here. It's like sweet banana. Banana it is like sweet. Like dried bananas. Mm. Dried bananas. Have you ever had dried bananas? It tastes like dried bananas. It's nice. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Come on then. Sometimes it burns. We're literally in, we called an Uber. <laughs> But it's a black cab. Yeah, it's crazy. Also, I just bumped into the loveliest subscriber from Canada. She was with her husband in Paris. I also bumped into a guy at the village, 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 Not village, <laughs> village um, who was from Washington. And it's just so nice to meet people. It just made my day. But yeah. Hello, America. From Hello, yeah. yeah. And Canada, America. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're in this Uber in Paris, but it's literally a black cab. Like. True but they, they like, always have to start like, yeah, But then in London it's normally like filled with bird poop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, look, like, wait, this is my model it. sitting in the black cab. <laughs> yeah, oh, also so funny because we literally, all of us have this, we ordered this set. Like, but you, she wore, we were talking about a cool set and then I was like, wait, is it a gray one from Zara? And then she was like, yeah, and I was like, oh, I got that. And then Ella was like, Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, those are actually jackets. Uh, <laughs> I'm just sad that I didn't bring mine. We could have all been like triplets. Tripleting. Triplets. Yeah. We've come to this iconic spot to shoot the first part of our campaign. And I think everyone has the same idea. This is the photo spot. I think also someone's in a wedding just on the other side. It's also like really nice timing. The Eiffel Tower looks so pretty. So I think you stand where those girls are standing. Yeah.
Good morning guys, I thought I would start the morning off in the bathroom because I realised that while I was in Paris I didn't actually use the face mask and I, I'm actually really curious to try and see how it is. The little Benefit face mask I opened in the advent calendar, I actually want to use it because in Paris it was so like non-stop and we had like really late night dinners which is really lovely but then it meant that when I got back to the hotel I was so tired I did not think to do a face mask so I'm gonna apply this now just before I'm about to do my makeup which actually I think is a good idea because then it'll probably make my skin look good. Today is well London Fashion Week already started but I was away in Paris so for me it's like the first day so I have a show this evening it's like a MAC show I think it's gonna be a really big show it's like MAC the makeup brand and um, they're doing this show which I'm curious to see and they've flown people from all over the world to come to this show so it'll be an interesting one to go to I have no idea what I'm going to wear um, I just feel very unprepared I also really don't have much going on this London Fashion Week I think out of all the fashion weeks this is like the one where I get the least amount of shows I'm not sure why um, because I would absolutely love to go to more shows and obviously support um, like London designers but yeah I don't really tend to get many shows in London Fashion Week so um, I've only got a couple of things and some presentations I think that will be in the next vlog because um, I'll probably do like a little London Fashion Week vlog with what I get up to I'm also so gutted that I missed New York Fashion Week because I actually really wanted to go this year I love New York so much from the one time that I visited so I would absolutely love to go but because of uh, work commitments that I had before I couldn't go, we couldn't go to New York but hopefully for next season we can go because I think New York Fashion Week looks so amazing I had so much FOMO watching everyone um, at New York Fashion Week so I would absolutely love to go I just applied the face mask, I love the colour I'm also wearing my Daily Silk pyjama set, I'll link it down below I think if my discount code is still valid I'll also put it down below but this pyjama set is so comfy I absolutely love it also Oh my god, you guys don't understand how happy I was to discover this. This is the Eucerin Aquaphor Lip Balm. So you guys know I'm an Aquaphor girl, like I'm obsessed with Aquaphor. I have, there's always an Aquaphor lying around somewhere in my house. We have one in the car, one in my handbag, one by my bed, one in the bathroom. And then when I was in Selfridges the other day, I was at the face gym, I went into the pharmacy they have in Selfridges and I saw they had the Aquaphor Lip Balm, which is basically the Aquaphor but in a lip balm tube which is so good because I don't have to use my fingers just this is honestly the best lip balm in the world and it actually like moisturizes your lips your lips will never be dry um so I bought two of these and I remember I got it and I literally sent a text to Trill's like look what I found I'm so happy honestly this made me so happy to discover this so yeah obsessed okay I'm gonna go, come back, I'll check in with you guys and we'll wash this. Oh, it's already drying, wow. Oh my God, I can already see the pores from my neck. You can see the pores. Oh. Okay guys, I can't really move my face that much because it's basically dried, but you can literally see the T-zone area, like all of the pores. I'm gonna wash this off now and we'll see what my skin looks like, but I actually am obsessed. I think I'm gonna have to buy the full size version of this because so far this is one of the best masks that I've used where you can really see the gunk being pulled out of the pores. While I was waiting, I was sitting in the living room and I showed True and now he wants to use a face mask. So I'm gonna do it on him. And actually I think his will be more satisfying because True has quite oily skin, um, whereas mine's like oily dry. So I think it'll be really interesting to see like what his one looks like. So I'm gonna wash mine off and then I'm gonna do True's. Also, I really love that it's not stripping. Like, I feel like normally with face masks like that, when you wash it off, your face feels like really dry, like everything's been sucked out, but it doesn't, which is very interesting. I wonder if they've done that. Because it feels like it's pulled out all the oil. Also, this little bit of hair is like a joke. It feels like it's pulled out the oil, but it's not stripped the skin, which is really nice. So I'm gonna use this, which came in the advent calendar. This is the Professional Titan Toned Pore Refining AHA and PHA Toning Foam. 
I've never actually used a toning foam before, so let's see. My face feels really nice and clean. I'm gonna just go in with my usual skincare. What do I spray on my face? Mm. Evidon's Rebalancing Essence to add a bit of moisture to the skin. Some eye cream. This is the Lancome Absolute Eye Cream. I really love this range of eye cream. It's almost finished. Then I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum, which is, as you can see, on its last bits. Um, and although it's called a night serum, you can actually use it during the day. I really like the serum because it has so many amazing ingredients in it. And it's one of those serums that I've just oh, I've just used so much and just really got on with. So and it's just an easy serum. It's like it doesn't irritate the skin. Yeah, I think it has hyaluronic acid. Um, it has lots of different things that are really good for your skin in it. Wow, look at my skin. It's like glistening. I've actually run out of the Beauty Pie Electrolyte Shinkai Face Cream, which is one of my favourite face creams. I actually need to repurchase that because it's such a good face cream. Right now I'm using the Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream, which I really love, but actually I found that I can't use this too often. Like, I like to use this and I'll take a break and then I use in the else because I think sometimes this can be too rich for my skin and then it can cause me to break out. Which is why I really enjoyed the Beauty Pie Electrolyte Gel Face Cream because that one is like gel but super hydrating but I feel like it doesn't clog your skin. This is a really beautiful face cream but I think if you have combination skin it's just good to not use it like every day. But it's really nice under makeup. It's kind of like, um, it gives a really nice base. Okay, then I'm going to go in with some SPF, one of my top three SPFs. This is the Everdon's Total Shield. It smells incredible. It also gives a really nice base for makeup. Okay. So I've just done my makeup and done my hair. I still haven't figured out what to wear, which is why I still have my pajama top on. Um, but I'll figure that out later. And also I think that will be the start of the next vlog. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Wait, before I end the vlog, I'm gonna show you what I got from La Vallée Village, which is the luxury outlet place in Paris. But first of all, I wanna talk about how smoothly my makeup went on after that face mask. I'm so impressed. I still need to do True's face mask. We haven't done that yet. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I feel like it just looks so clean and it just went on so nicely. I feel like doing a face mask before the makeup is such a good idea because I normally do it before I go to bed, but it's actually nice to do it in the morning. Anyway, let's do an unboxing. I think I actually would have already seen from the vlog what I picked up. Um, I got something from Bottega and something from Saint Laurent. From Bottega, I picked up the white trousers that you saw me try on. I really, I don't think I would love these. I saw them on the rack and I grabbed them because the price was so good. The price for these was 170 from around 800 euros. Um, and I just thought I'll try them on. And actually, I really, really loved how they looked. They're like a smartish, but not too smart pair of trousers. They're like a really good in between. They're like a cargo style pair of pants. Oh, I didn't even notice it has that button. So you can actually change the sides to be a bit tighter or looser. And then on the cuffs, it also has the same like button detail. I just really loved the fit of these and I love white trousers and I feel like I can't get enough. And this is a very different style to all the other ones I have. Although this is quite spring, summer. Um, so I'm not sure how much wear I'll get out of it this year, but I know for sure these will be loved and worn a lot come spring, summer. And maybe a little bit now. It's gone so gloomy. Sorry if the lighting's not great. It's like the weather has just changed from being summer to today being autumn. And one thing that I miss about summer the most is like the bright lighting and the really long days so yeah it's currently raining so i think this is a really good price you also get tax back so this was 145 pounds when i'm converting from euros to pounds 145 pounds and then i'll get a little bit of tax back from that as well so from saint laurent i got a bag it is this fluffy shirling bag i really wanted to add a shirling bag to my collection and i thought this was at a good price point and it's also like a pouch clutch vibe which is perfect 
um because i always love carrying like this style of bag so this is actually the back of the bag but you could obviously wear it however you want i think sometimes i'll style it a front ways if i want a little bit of the logo and then if you don't want any logo this is the front of the pouch which is great it's like an envelope um and then the inside is lined with black leather here and then it's got the cream leather here which i think is very nice it also comes with this is like the authenticity stuff i thought this was just really nice and a nice piece to add to my collection i love the color of it as well it also came in a darker brown i think i vlogged that um but this i thought would go like the most with my outfit so the price for this was really good it was 1300 euros originally and then it went down to 882 euros and then obviously i also get tax back on that um so yeah, that's what I got. I also have seen it's still full price on like Farfetch and some websites. So I thought that was a really great buy. And then the last thing that I got was a belt. I've been looking for a big belt for a while now. A belt really does transform an outfit. And obviously Saint Laurent is having its moment. They're like one of the hottest brands. I mean, they always have been up there, but like the recent collections have just been insane. And everyone is loving it at the moment. So it is this big belt in this really beautiful, like deep brown, croc leather with the gold buckle and then actually it says on the buckle Saint Laurent Paris on the bottom which is really nice because it's obviously like a no logo belt very subtle detail um only if you look at it closer you can see that it says Saint Laurent and I think this will just really elevate any outfit I already styled it yesterday for a look that I might wear in Milan next week and the whole outfit just looked very Saint Laurent which I love and the price for this the original was around 645 euros, I think. And then this went down to 177 euros. And I think that is a bargain for a belt because I've been looking at leather belts online and even for like a standard, not really designer leather belt, it's been around 150 pounds. So to get this beautiful belt for that price, I think was amazing. So that is everything that I got. I did really enjoy going to La Vallée Village. I actually have a reel coming up because I'm working with them. Um, it is smaller than Bista Village. Bista Village is massive and the restaurant options for La Valle are less than what you have at Bista but it is a really nice experience. It feels very Parisian. Um, there's a Zimmerman there, they have Ami Paris, they have Valentino, Gucci um, and their stock is a bit different because if you saw when I went to Loewe they had some new like not new season but like new newer pieces than what the Bista Village Loewe had. So I think it's always good whenever there's an outlet to See what it's like in other countries because i think they do get different stocks and then also for like the euro to pounds conversion plus the tax back you do save a bit more so yeah that's the that's what i picked up i'm really happy with those pieces i will see if any of them are available online and we'll link them down below but yeah i think i'm going to end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in the next one